Sometimes a board game's miniatures are so beautiful they actually enhance the game itself. Today we're looking at our top 10 miniatures games here on Legendary Tactics. Okay, so, so we've got the spread in front of we us. We do. <laughs> now, yes. Our keen eyed viewers can probably detect Start some of our picks. Start picking out here. already, yeah, maybe. Yep. <laughs> and we but have that's our... okay. This was too fun. That's right. We, we and couldn't resist. Just, just right up front, we have to tell you, we are not miniatures gamers per se. No. But we do enjoy a good mini in a game. Yeah, we can do. We are definitely appreciate. That's right. Yes. So we're going to take a look at our favorite games and which which minis enhance the games the best. For so, sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's check it out. Um, why don't I start with yeah. my first one? Yeah. Please okay. do. So my first one I don't have in studio. This one I would need a small camper van to bring the whole game here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, Gastel, who's been on the channel, yes. a bit, played it with him. It's called ISS Vanguard. Okay. Now I know he kickstarted and he did the whole works. Did he? And uh, we'll put some shots on screen of these miniatures. Excellent. Had a chance to play with him, and oh my gosh, these Phenomenal. miniatures, the detail on them, the wash that they put on them, really, um, just they look beautiful. Like metallic sheens, and oh. they're just absolutely gorgeous. Excellent. I mean, check those out. They just okay. Just, just really makes the game shine. pop then. For sure. And I mean, it, it feels like you're adults with toys and you get to, hey. you know, move your spaceships around and just feels like And that's like what miniatures are all about, I think. I eh? think so. When I you think start really getting outside of yourself and like just getting so immersed and, be, and it's because of them. Yeah. Right? You, you channel your inner child, I think, with some of these. So ISS Vanguard is my number 10. Oh, excellent. And coming in at number 9 for me, the box is ginormous. Gloomhaven. Oh yes, right. Gloomhaven. That's a beast. And it is a beast of a box, and it's a it's a beast of a game, and the miniatures are pretty awesome. And one of the reasons I absolutely love the miniatures in this game is the mystery and the intrigue right. yes. that go along with your miniature. Because in inside of uh, the game, you're going to get four. I believe it's 14 characters. Quite a few. A number, maybe even yeah. maybe more. And you have to basically, uh, you, as your characters retire or die, you pick new ones, and you get a little miniature box, and you get a miniature, basically a little uh, a dossier folder on your miniature and so it's almost the, the it's like a platform like it elevates them like you get this special little package like that's right. christmas you unwrap right. your little box that's exactly it and so yes. I've, we've, we've, we've highlighted two of the base characters so there's no spoilers here uh if you're if you're worried about that these are the two two, two of the base characters the brute and the scoundrel and uh I just, I just love the idea of, of, of having that kind of that, that mystery, that it intrigue cool. in the game. And that is a real... So uh, my kids and I painted Jaws of the Lion together. Awesome. And we each got one character, and it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of detail on there. We didn't do the best job, but they looked... It was fun. It's fun to customize your own miniatures that way. It's really great, and and I just I just love that whole compartmentalization of the miniature itself, like almost like raising, like you say, to a new level. That's so cool. for that and reason, it made my list. And there's no huge miniatures in that. Like they're all fairly small, no, diminutive. No, right? yeah, we don't get any of these honkers. So no, um, we'll so, get to those later. So you're just Trust me. yes, <laughs> With those. you just appreciate the detail, and, and I appreciate the mystery. Yes. That's right, absolutely. All right, number okay. eight. So the next one is actually when you played head-to-head -head with oh. NATO at Gen Con, Mar uh, Marvel Crisis Of course, Protocol. yes. So this is a game, it's a true hobby miniatures game. It's yes. a skirmish game. Okay. Uh, so, and I, I couldn't help but admire, and I think why this one is on my list is because it was professionally painted. Right, it was really sharp. They were incredible. The, it was amazing. The detail, yes. I could never touch that. And no. I mean, they're professionals, so they know right. what they're doing. Absolutely. But, but still, I was looking at the detail on all of the different models. These are all your favorite Marvel characters. Yeah, that's they, what really made it shine for me. Absolutely. Yes. And, and I mean, when you get the box, it comes with all of the um, settings and the uh, the buildings, the warehouses, the street signs, all that. Right. Right. So you get more than just the miniatures in that, and it's a dedicated miniatures game. Right. So, and I think the gameplay is secondary to admiring the aesthetics of the miniatures. Exactly. So cool. So, so we cool. are on to number seven. Number pick. seven, and mine it kind of oh, it comes with a, a, a dual pick here. Okay. Because we have the game Scythe. Oh, nice. And uh, uh, of course, with that one, you get some Ooh. pretty awesome mechs. Okay, you get characters, and then of course, with your faction, you get your specified mech that goes along with it. And, uh, the mechs got me. I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I had to saw the mechs, and the characters alone are sweet, but then the mechs added in were just like, yes, awesomeness. Nice. So uh, yeah, I really, really, really like that 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 component, that part where you had like almost two stage two stage minis for each each person, and uh, really cool. But along with that, which also propelled this one to number seven for me, was because of kids at home. 
we got to play the junior version. My yes. little scythe. And what did the kids, and so is this more what your kids thought of it, or is this what you think of these minis? Uh, the kids loved them. The kids absolutely loved them, and Dad liked them too. Well, <laughs> and I seem to remember. Was it simplified? Yes, but it, it's fun. And your kid uh, only had one critique of this game, and that was that it didn't come with real pie in the box. That's true. That, that by pie in the sky, but it pie does come the with sky, a hot yeah. air balloon. That's the expansion, and there actually is a nice little hot air balloon that comes with that. I was going to actually nice. I was going to tote that as well. So yeah, That's look cool. at my pie in the sky. But anyway, both the the scythe and my little scythe, uh, is, it comes in for number seven for me. Good way to entice kids into a game with miniatures like that. That's right, a lot of fun. And, and they're all very individualized and lots of fun animals and critters running around there on the board. Awesome. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this game over here. Descent Journeys into the Dark. For number six, nicely yes, done. indeed. So this one here is, is one that I think a lot of people um, really like these miniatures. They're not so miniature. No. Look Whoa. at the size of these. Whoa. These are super cool. Like you have to assemble them right and Real them nice. all together. And uh, they're just fantastic looking. Um, so this this is a game that I haven't played much, but because of the miniatures, I want to play this right. more. This is drawing you in. Yeah, aesthetics Huge. alone. Like when oh, I open the box, that is just awesome. I want to know who I'm battling, and when I pull that out, I'm like, I want the story that goes along with this character. And the detail in that too. Yeah, that look at that. Can you imagine right? painting that? Oh, oh my gosh. She's all the lines awesome. and the textures, and yes, yeah, super cool. So that was very descent. Awesome descent. Okay. Yes, indeed. What's next well, for you? speaking of larger size minis, I'm gonna go right along here to ba -da -bum -ba -dum. where are you? Here you oh, are, yep. Blood Rage yes. coming in, and 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 basically a similar idea with Huge. my minis from Blood Rage, just really really cool. I mean. Ogre throwing the big old boulder. Look at the giant right? sword. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Talk about a chopper. And then the the hammer, the Thor hammer over here. Like yeah. Just way cool. Like baddies here. But I like on. that kids could handle these if you wanted to play Blood Rage with kids. And like this sword isn't gonna break. That feels no. really sturdy. That's pretty. Yeah. 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 So a good. And the game is great. We we played yeah. the game a number of times. We yeah, love that game. game. It's the the, it the world good. sort of crumbling apart and I always feel like I great. want the miniatures to move more than they do. It feels fairly yeah. compact. Yes. And so but there are lots of other games where the miniatures move a lot. Right. And and I mean with these guys on the board. Yeah. A lookout. That's all I gotta say. Right? I mean that's awesome. That's super cool. <laughs> love it. Okay, so I've been waiting for this one. I'm s I should have put this as my number one. Oh. But there's actually a game that I think is better than this. This is my favorite game of all time. Here it is. Kemet. This is the Blood and Sand edition. The Ooh, second one. Okay. And this is a this is a fun game. Now these miniatures aren't quite as big as some of these, but when you get into the game and people are battling because they want you're working through a tech tree and you can buy the various uh, critters and creatures to add to your board and they just bolster, enhance, they give you defensive value, attack value, um, whatever they do, it's it's awesome. Some let you like fly over the walls of the enemies, that kind of thing. But I just oh. love the look of them. Look at that, eh? Yeah, that is nice sandworm there. Okay, and I, I have to, I have I have a little. I don't love Kemet, but I have a, I have a secret confession. Yeah, I love the snake. Yes, he's <laughs> cool. I do love this. Was he there a scorpion really nice. in another? Version? There is. Oh, in both. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so there's a scorpion as well because the but... scorpion is the other one I really like. Scorpion the is snake. The one that... <laughs> Everybody goes. Everybody goes for the scorpion. Oh, deadly! <laughs> that is awesome. It's cool. good stuff. So, and to me, that's one of the best games that integrates the miniatures into the game, where you're really battling to try to bring them on board. Yes. Get, so, get those on the board. Yes. Awesome. For sure. Super cool. So, we've come to the dilemma here, the crisis point. Oh, okay. Actually, speaking of crisis point, uh, because and, and, you want to make a list of eleven, and I, we know our viewers only want ten. <laughs> that's exactly it. So I yep. had two to choose from, and it's literally. Both board, both games are on the table right now. Okay, but I can only pick one of them. Okay, so I'm, I'm just choose. looking at the board, wondering, man, I sure hope you're choosing this one. Well, that, you know what? Circle gets the square. Yeah. There it is! Star Wars Imperial Assault, okay? And it is for, literally, the ATST. All right, yeah. because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. <laughs> and I mean, this guy right here, just mulching down. All, and also, actually, and you know what? A shout out to uh, the Wookiee as well. Oh, okay, turns too. It's not Chewbacca. 
No, that is not Chewbacca. Who it's is Chewbacca. that? It's a Wookiee. Um, Gar, Gar something. Something or other. Put it in the comments if please, you know. Please let us know. Remind me. But it's Gar something. For sure. And Garfunkel. Simon. <laughs> Garfunkel. <laughs> Feeling groovy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I had to put him up because he always reminds me of Chewie. Uh, but the ATST really won my heart over. And I like the Dungeon Crawler. Nice. And so Imperial Assault well, wins the day for it, number two. But there will be a bonus at the end. We'll get to it. Think about drama. They always have a set piece on stage that's your set piece of your board game so awesome it's beautiful <laughs> so we've come to my final game oh i'm afraid i'm gonna pull this sucker over here this one. Oh, we're, we're staying on point it's, we're staying we on theme. Are. i love it yeah back and forth star wars, little star wars shatter point okay cool uh, this game surprised me when i opened it up and it was um a lot of bits. oh my goodness so it's just wow. little bits and pieces amazing and, bodies and arms and legs it's a little gruesome actually you create the minis so yeah this is this is again a true hobby game like marvel crisis awesome. protocol the two of them came out just this year um but that i is mean awesome these are probably not for kids so much like look at look at how fine the detail is on these with that these is... little swords it, i mean they were actually Tannis. a pain to build those come on but uh and again we got a sample of this could you imagine gone. painting that now like, uh, yes that's that's what i'm going to be doing oh my gosh so that Looking is forward to but your... look at like the little detail on her little sash there oh my gosh Oh, wow. So, so cool. There's yeah. just so many characters in the game. There's so much you can do with that. That um, is, is that Boba Fett or is that just one of the, uh, that's just Boba, the Mandalorians? Just a generic kind of, yeah, one of his little pals. Okay, oh boy. But yep. still very cool with the jetpack. Love it. Absolutely. So Star Wars Shatterpoint is the number one miniatures game in my opinion. Okay. So can you do better? I'll try. Okay. Okay, so we are on to your number one game. The number one game. It, it, What's it going to be? It was... War of the Ring. Wow. Yes. Okay, War that's of the Ring. surprising. And Even though I could see it there, it's still surprising. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. I really love War of the Ring. So I'm why? a big Ring fan. Okay. Just the storyline. It's a great storyline. It's just but a, these guys epic are tale. tiny. What, what, what's they are. the big draw for so you? So the for the big draw for me is first off, I love the heroes, the details that they put into each of the heroes. Okay, and it's like really, really just. I feel like they've done a lot of work with the heroes specifically. Oh, yeah. You can see chainmail on this one. Chain, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, and so here's Gandalf, and of course it's all your all your heroes that you've enjoyed. Like, and I've I've read the books many times. Uh, I love that for the factions, they've actually specifically for the uh, the good guys here. What you have to do is you have to look at each of the six factions very carefully and really interact with your miniatures. And I love that about a miniatures game. Okay. Interacting with your miniatures. So I think that's important. Uh, and and I there's mean, tons of them on the board. Like this game comes with a pile of them. And there's tons of them on the board. You were dealing with a lot of minis. And so that's the other thing that really tips it over for Sometimes me. Sometimes volume matters with minis. Yeah, and I would agree. Yes. I would agree. So for all, for all those points, War of the Ring. Fantastic. A great game to boot. Okay, so those are our 10 miniature games. Make sure that you let us know in the comments what your favorites are. And in the meantime, but wait. There. Oh, oh, there's one more thing. But wait. The bonus footage. The bonus footage. All right, let's do it. So you didn't choose a game earlier. You had to choose between this and something else. Are you going to show us that something I else? I am. I am going to show you something else. Perfect. And this is, this is probably to my everlasting shame. This is embarrassing. It starts like this. Last summer was Reno's uh, at Cax's Ranch, and I had to bring some games to a shed, which I forgot about. Oh no. Left it over in the humidity. And unfortunately, Don't Mansions ever do this. of do Madness not. became. Do this. This, just this past month, uh, the oh. sweet beetroot crackers box, okay? Please. Uh, Mansions of Madness. Never do this to uh, game. One game was lost in the uh, ensuing humidity oh. tragedy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes. Don't tell yes. me which one. I Arkham don't want to know. No, don't Arkham tell me. Horror has been forever gone and lost to us. But oh. Mansions of Madness, uh, and I bought this game specifically for the miniatures. Ooh, are these the ones here? There's Cthulhu's. Yes, That's there's nice. some Cthulhu's. And you know what? I had to. Those are nice. I needed to give a shout out to my beetroot box, Mansions of Madness. Uh, don't judge. No judgment zone here. Okay. okay. But that's not all. <laughs> but that's not all. But that's not all. Because there is one more piece of bonus. Sometimes... Miniatures are too fun. You can't just stop there. Miniatures are great for kids, too. And you probably noticed this whole time we didn't talk about the Scooby-Doo gang. Right. But when you pull those out with the kids, let me tell you. They hit home. Oh my gosh. The kids love them. And you know yep. what? You can ride around Mystery in machine to yep. boot. Load them up. Okay. With the baddie chasing them. Yes. Uh, right inside the van. It's a new level of rule. I love it. Cax, it was a slice. And don't forget to get out there. Get gaming. And be legendary.